Hey guys and welcome back to part four of the serial killing and mass murders iceberg that you know I've been doing every week. Um, if you've made it this far, thanks for checking it out and sticking with me. I know that it's been a lot, but this is a halfway point through the iceberg videos and I'm pretty excited because of that. So once again, um, thank you for sticking through me with this, watching these videos, and thanks for those that are going to return to watch the rest. With that being said, let's get started. All right, today we are going to start with the Wednesday Stranger. It is also known as the Saga Woman's Serial Killer Case. In this case, seven women were killed in Saga Prefecture from 1975 to 1989. And it's also called the Wednesday Strang Strangler Case because six of the victims disappeared on a Wednesday. Um, once again, I want to go ahead and let y'all know in advance some of these names. I'm probably not going to be able to say. Okay, no probably about it. I'm not going to be able to say them right. Thanks for understanding. Um, anyway, the murder case in which three of the women were found dead in 1989 was prosecuted and called the Northern Case, which was the site of the body discovery because it was in Northern Town. However, all cases have been acquitted and as a result, all cases have been unsolved. The first to fourth cases have been prosecuted without being prosecuted, whatever that means. So I'm going to go over the details and the disappearances and discovery of these people. On Wednesday, August 27th of 1975, and by the way, these people, they have labeled as just letters, they don't have any numbers or anything. Anyway, 12 years old at the time, this person was a first year junior high school student living in Kitagata Town, disappeared from his home where he was away alone. About five years later, on June 27th of 1980, the body was found in the toilet tank next to the elementary school pool in Shiroshoshi Town. On Saturday, April 12th, 1980, this victim was 20 years old at the time, who lives in a Shiroshoshi town, disappeared from his home where he was away alone. About two months later, on June 24th, the body was found in the stool tank of an elementary school in the same town. This is the only case that did not happen on a Wednesday. On Wednesday, October 7th, 1981, the victim, 27 years old at the time, who was an employee of a nearby factory living in Shiroshoshi town, disappeared. On the 21st of the same month, they were found dead in the vacant lot in Nakahara Town. On Wednesday, February 17th, 1982, a fifth grader who was 11 years old at the time in Kedashikiyasu Town went missing on his way home from school and was found dead the next day in a citrus field in the town. His neck was strangled with stockings and there was evidence of his alleged violence. Moving on to the Lava Lake murders, this refers to a triple murder that occurred near Little Lava Lake and Deschutes National Forest in Deschutes County, Oregon, United States in January of 1924. The victims were Edward Nichols, 50 years old, Roy Wilson, 35, and Dewey Morris, who was 25 at the time, all of whom were working as fur trappers in the Deschutes National Forest in the winter of 1923 to 1924. Their bodies were discovered in Little Lava Lake in April of 1924, where they had been deposited under the surface ice. Each of the men had been murdered via gunshot and blunt force trauma. Though police identified a potential suspect, Charles Kimsey, no one was ever actually convicted of the crime. The Thames Torso Murders now, I'm not going to explain this in very much detail because there is a lot to it, but if y'all want a video on this separately, I can do that sometime. Just let me know in the comments below. Anyway, the Thames Torso Murders, often called the Thames Mysteries or the Embankment Murders, were a sequence of unsolved murders of women occurring in London, England from 1887 to 1889. The series included four incidents which were filed as belonging to the same series. None of the cases were solved, and only one of the four victims was ever identified. In addition, other murders of a similar kind, taking place between 1873 and 1902, have also been associated with the same murder series. Speculations have linked the Thames murder series of that to the contemporary Whitechapel murders and Jack the Ripper. However, the modus operandi of the perpetrator of the Thames Torso murders differs from the other unidentified criminals and the victims of Jack the Ripper suffered progressive abdominal and whereas the Thames Torso murders dismembered the bodies of his victims. The Duck Walk Killer the Duckwalk Killer is a spree killer in the Rogers Park neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois. The Duckwalk Killer murdered at least two individuals. 
Douglas Watts, 73 at the time, was shot in the head at point-blank range while walking his dog on the morning of Sunday, September 30th, 2018. At the time of the murder, police said that there was no apparent motive and that Mr. Watts was not robbed. Aluya Moskowitz, 24, was shot in the head at point-blank range while walking home on the evening of Monday, October 1st, 2018. Police also were unable to determine a motive for the murder of Mr. Moskowitz, and he was not robbed either. So in a previous episode, I told you about Jack the Ripper. Well, this one is Jack the Stripper, also known as Hammersmith Nude Murders. This is the name of the series of six murders in West London, England in 1964 to 1965. The victims, all prostitutes, were found undressed in or near the River Thames, leading the press to nickname the killer Jack the Stripper. Two earlier murders committed in West London in 1959 and 1963 have also been linked by some investigators to the same perpetrator. Despite intense media interest in one of the biggest manhunts in Scotland Yard's history, the case is still unsolved. The Cumminsville Ripper, or also known as the Cumminsville Killer, the Slouch Hat Man, and the Man Gorilla was an unidentified serial killer who is believed to have claimed the lives of five victims in the Cumminsville neighborhood of Cincinnati, Ohio, United States, between the years of 1904 and 1910. In recent years, theories have surfaced tying the murders in Cumminsville to the Dayton Stra- which is another unidentified serial killer believed to have been active in Dayton, Ohio, from 1900 to 1909. The Waverly Stranglings, or otherwise known as the Waverly Three, was a series of murders that happened between 1971 and 1976. This was a trio of murders of young girls that happened in this area in this time, and it was a very small town and unheard of. There's really not much more I can add to this right now, again, without being here all night, but also another case with plenty of detail. The Santa Rosa Hitchhiker Murders. This was a series of at least seven unsolved homicides that we know of, involving female hitchhikers that took place in Sonoma County and Santa Rosa of the North Bay Area of California in 1972 and 1973. All of these victims were found without any of their clothes in rural areas near steep embankments or in creek beds near roads. Aeroflot Flight 773 was a scheduled domestic Soviet Union passenger flight from Moscow to Simperofol that crashed following a bomb explosion on October 10, 1971. The aircraft involved was a Tupolev Tu-104B registered as CCCP-42390 to the Ukraine Civil Aviation Directorate of Aeroflot. There were at least seven crew members on the flight and a policeman as well, but the policeman went down in statistics under the passengers of the flight, and I could not find the exact number of the people that were on the plane or how many passed away. The Stone Man is a name given by a popular English language print media of Calcutta, India to an unidentified serial killer who murdered at least 13 homeless people in Calcutta during their sleep in 1989. The name is also given to the perpetrator of a similar series of murders in Bombay from 1985 to 1988. It has been speculated that these were the work of the same person who could have been responsible for as many as 26 murders. The Stoneman was blamed for 13 murders over six months. The first was in June of 1983, but it was never established whether the crimes were committed by one person or a group of people. The Calcutta police also failed to resolve whether any of the crimes were committed as a copycat murder. To date, no one has been charged with any of the crimes, and all 13 cases still remain unsolved. Atavia Flight 870. On June 27, 1980, a McDonnell Douglas DC-9 passenger jet crashed into the Tyrrhenian Sea between the islands of Ponza and Ustica, killing 81 people on board. Known in Italy as the Ustica Massacre, the disaster led to numerous investigations, legal actions, and accusations, and continues to be a source of controversy, including claims of conspiracy by the Italian government and others. A 1994 report found that the cause of the crash was a terrorist bomb, one in a years-long series of bombings in Italy. The Prime Minister of Italy at the time attributed the crash to being accidentally shot down during a dogfight between Libyan and NATO fighter jets. 
All right, guys, that was Tier 4 and our halfway point to get through this iceberg series. Thanks again for checking this out, and I will see y'all with another video next week. Good night.